come to this program and leave and work in public accounting. And you can do that uh, with a specialization in tax. You can do that with a specialization in financial accounting or most likely managerial accounting. And so then the difference is after public accounting might be that someone who specialized in tax could go work for a regulatory agency. That could include the IRS. That could include the Governmental Accounting Office. That could also include the Joint Committee on Taxation. There are also academic positions available for someone with tax expertise to teach. And I found over the years that investment bankers are interested in tax students uh, because they're confident that those students have been challenged and have the critical thinking skills that are necessary to be successful in a banking environment. If you wanted to be an auditor for a large accounting firm or a small accounting firm, just like auditing, or if you wanted to run your own business or wanted to be a financial manager for a large company, then financial, the financial reporting and, and assurance track is, is, is ideal for that because it keeps all these options open. Uh, I would say that a, a fair number of our students are interested in financial management. They're interested in being a chief financial officer of a major uh, corporation, for example. Others want to be f chief financial officer of, um, of a not-for-profit organization. Beyond that, uh, a fairly large number of students interested in government service of some kind, uh, either in, uh, as a regulator working for the Securities and Exchange Commission or for a standard setter, such as the International uh, Accounting Standards Board, or the Financial Accounting Standards Board in the U.S. It is a track which uh, some of the you know, mainstream industries uh, find very uh, agreeable and they're very receptive to. That would also hold true for the financial services, investment banking, for example, as well as um, management consulting. Uh, it doesn't tend to focus so much on the track, more on what your training has been and uh, your suitability for the profession. Being an entrepreneur, the notion of being, for example, in wealth management, these are all directions and, and employers who would have uh, an interest in how you've designed your program and how you've trained yourself. And so the track works very well for that type of employer. So it has the advantage of this flexibility, which allows uh, special interests to be incorporating your program with the greatest degree of, um, of uh, opportunity. One of the challenges we face here is so many people go into directly into public accounting. Um, you know, probably 80 to 90 percent of our students every year do that. And we have many hundreds of employers from industry from non-public accounting firms coming to look for students too. And I think it signals to them that you're serious about looking at an industry job to start with. You don't have to do it, but it does send a very strong signal that you are serious about it. And, and I think that makes a difference in terms of what opportunities you might have. And if your goal is to be a controller, to be a CFO, it really gives you the skills necessary to succeed in corporations. Because again, we went out and asked, what does it take to succeed? What, what, what do you really need and expect and, and built that into the course? Mm -hmm.